What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next early news vlog here for War Robots. I can finally introduce to you guys the next robot coming to the test server in two days on Saturday this weekend. And um, we're gonna test it, obviously, with gameplay there, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but here I can introduce the robot with to you and the looks and the abilities and uh, even tease another robot right after, okay? But for now, let's start slowly with the news, okay? A uh, new passive module repair amplifier. Remember my last thumbnail? We didn't have an image, but for the thumbnail, obviously, I need an image, so I made one myself with a random image from the internet. Now, we actually do know what the repair amplifier will look like. This is going to be the thing, and they made a few changes since last week. Now the module should work as intended, because I had a pretty crazy bug right there. But some bugs still might uh, might still uh, occur. It is a test server after all, and that's why there is a test server in the first place, you know? And by the way, for those who don't know, I also thought it uh, understood it differently in the beginning. What this thing does, it basically gives you a continuously healing of your robot. The more damage you take, the higher the ticks of your continuous healing that you'll get. And eventually, at, uh, when, once you reach the maximum tick or healing, similar to the um, nuclear amplifier, there will be a maximum. Once that reaches, you heal back a lot uh, and you even heal some of the gray HP back. And you gain resistance on top. So this is a really good item for a robot that tends to be alive for a longer time to even reach that high spot, you know? Um, so yeah, definitely a great module to be paired with a nuclear amplifier and maybe anti-control. That would may, might actually be the meta setup later. So, then we have the new drone, Ironheart, obviously. Also, a few changes. Now it has an ace. Uh, instead of the A slot, suppressor, lockdown, and so on, it will now have an F slot. And it will therefore be more meta ready because, uh, let's face it, what's being run in the meta these days? Uh, drones with F slots because you want to have that stupid shield, as I usually call it, uh, popping up every, uh, every few seconds to protect you a little bit, right? And that's uh, what the thing now has. It will have an F slot. Targeting fix uh, will continue to test vertical targeting. The idea is to fix the robot, how the uh, locks, how the robot locks onto the target directly above and below. Um, so we should take a closer look at it and compare it to the live server and tell 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 them what we think. Now there's a little video I want to show you as well for the tier system. Um, Let's make this large. There's going to be a tier system in War Robots where you can tell and differentiate uh, the tier levels of items. You see, this is how it looked before, right? No tier... Oh, no, this is actually already the new one. You see the Stalker is a tier 1 item. It is white. The Carnage and Leo are tier 2 items. They're blue. And if we play the video... What? Weird. Um, then you see that the Fury is a, uh, a purple item, so it's a tier 3 item, right? Tier 3 is purple. And then there's, we know there's four tiers. The four, t the tier 4 would be uh, orange as in legendary or something, you know? Uh, whereas purple would be epic and therefore tier 3. So this is what's coming as well, a tier system. Uh, I don't know why the screen is flickering right that like that, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so now we know that and then the new robot harpy So here it comes ladies and gentlemen one of the so-called twin strikers is going to be the star of this week's test server Get ready boom there it is uh, Harpy is an experimental DSC robot that can hover high in the air sending rockets down uh, it's, cre uh, it's rockets create an area of firestorm, a dangerous zone that incinerates enemies caught in it. The air, uh, in the air, it hovers in one place. It cannot fly around like the F uh, Fafnir can. It hovers in one place, uses a reflector shield as a main defense, and it can go down using a teleporter uh, translocator. So it can teleport back down from where it came, or it will fall down if you don't use the teleporter, then it will fall down and land, or you teleport down and land if you want to. On the ground, well, piloting a harpy, you should always be aware of enemies on the ground, because it is going to be rather vulnerable. Uh, Corporation DSC and experiment uh, is, the, is the thing, and the description is, 
An experimental developed a development by DSC en engineers. Uh, this robot is vulnerable on the ground, but extremely dangerous in the air. It soars into the air, hovers, and can teleport back if necessary. Able to create a firestorm that incinerates all enemies caught in it. I have more images with for you guys. Let's just read the description. Uh, ability, firestorm. Harpy sets up a translocator, makes a jet jump, and hovers in the air. Secondary activation teleports the robot to the translocator. While in the air, the robot can launch a powerful attack, a powerful rocket that creates a zone that damages enemies and applies the blast effect from the incinerator and skelt, right? So ability cooldown, oh, I, uh, I have to correct this. Ability cooldown was approximately 10 seconds, I was told, but it's still work in progress. So it could be different, you know? For now, on the test server, it might be something around 10 seconds. Cooldown, we don't know yet. A built-in weapon range, we don't know yet. Z uh, zone radius, we don't know yet. And the damage frequency per tick, or how much, how often does it tick per second? Probably a second, but we don't know yet. Uh, reflector for the duration of the ability, the robot gains protection that partially blocks uh, receive damage and redirects it back to the to the guy dealing it for the robot. A reflector doesn't fully protect the robot, but it can't miti can't be mitigated. Similar to what the Hawk has or the Minos and so on. Damage blocked, return damage, we don't know that yet. Recommended setup for the um, Harpy would be an incinerator and two times Scorcher. And that already tells us what the weapons are. We have one heavy weapon and two medium weapons. Here's another image of this thing. So let's have a look at the images and then I'm gonna tease you one more thing that I just spotted, okay? Um, you see right here, that would be the Harpy. And remember when I told you last time that these things look like rockets would come out of it? And I think I was right. This thing will hover up in the air, fly, and fire, uh, or rather hover high up, not act actively flying. And then it will fire a firestorm of rockets down below and hits enemies very hard. And um, the interesting thing is that uh, you, you can teleport it back or you can not teleport back and then wait for you for your ability to run out and then you will start to fall. That's, I think, how I understand how the robot will work. Uh, you can trigger that ability as soon as you are in the air. And you have a reflector protecting you while you are in the air as well. And of course, let's not forget, you have a heavy and two medium weapons that are able to fire as well. So, you're not just having your built-in weapon launch, you also have that heavy and two weapons that will firing at the same time. Um, so, uh, that's a tremendous amount of firepower, and I think even Titans will have to be afraid or worry about this one up in the air. Especially since it can't be bypassed. Now, I told you there was gonna be a little teaser for another robot ride as well, right? So are you ready for it? Because I think I covered the text. Yeah, there's no more text in this one, uh, but I still have an image. You see right here, that would be the flying harpy up in the air. Um, you see the two, the, the, the medium weapon here, medium weapon on the other outer side, and the heavy incinerator up in the center. It's firing the built-in rockets, and you see the jetpack back there, keeping it up in the air. So this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, keep in mind, as they said, you need to be careful about getting caught without your ability. Similar as a hawk. A hawk also needs to be afraid of enemies while he's on the ground, but this one... Uh, it needs to be so as well. Maybe it doesn't have as much HP or something, but you need to be uh, careful. But a scorpion, when you're a, a scorpion, for example, that catches you after your ability, might be able to just instantly take you down, right? And maybe also a revenant or something like this. So um, yeah, have something ready to defend yourself. Maybe stay within team near teammates. Um, but again, we're going to test and gameplay this in two days during the test server session. So ladies and gents, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you, you like to stay up to date on the game, then consider subscribing now. You'll get the gameplay in two days from now. And here comes the last teaser. The next robot in line for the test server and a re release on War Robots is called the Siren. Because if you take a look at the whole image, I was observing the image given here for uh, the robot Harpy, and I was like, wait a minute. What in the world is that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't recognize that robot. What is this? And uh, so I was asking back uh, uh, to where I got the images from. I was like, hey, what's that? And then I was told, yeah, okay, that's the siren. Something coming also later. <laughs> so I spotted something new that uh, that was, um, yeah, that will be coming in the next weekend's test server. Probably, maybe, 
maybe two weeks, maybe one week, we don't know exactly, but it's going to come very soon, I guess. And, um, yeah, and you can also tell a lot of things by it. First off, they said in the text that the Harpy is one of the twin strikers, okay? And uh, so there's gonna be two strikers. And this might be the other twin striker. And I already know it's going to be called a siren. Even people on YouTube somehow could tell me the names of the robots already. I don't know how you guys always know that, those things. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be called the siren. You see it also has one heavy. And then it's not clear. Is this a two light or two heavy weapons? I can't say for sure. I would say it's two medium weapons. It looks like two medium weapons to me. But I'm not 100% sure about this right now. Um, but uh, that might be the same. And uh, then it has these things on the legs. What does that look like? It is it something that like a like a solar panels that it gains energy when it's flying or uh, gets an increased output of something because it it generates energy? Or is it more like a flying instrument that allows? The, the robot to fly or hover. It's called the Twin Strikers. Why would it be called Twin Strikers? We could, um, we could brainstorm about the meaning of this. It's the, uh, the DSC often make flying robots, right? And it's called Twin Strikers. So I wouldn't be surprised if this thing can also fly or jump or do something like that. And then from the air, deliver something. Maybe those are like um, uh, bla bombs that it, like, it makes a long jump. And while jumping, it lets bombs fall down. Like similar to an Orca bomber in Come Out and Conquer or whatever. Like it flies over and a boom, 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 boom. Everything below is getting bombed. I don't know. Could be. It could be so many things, but the interesting thing is that I just spotted this by by accident uh, uh, and I was like, wait a minute, I don't recognize that and I figured out that this must be the other twin striker. So yeah, pretty awesome. Um, these uh, robots might be the next, uh, next very powerful thing, but um, I don't feel, I'm not so much afraid of them as I am from the Fafnir right now because they cannot fly as long as they want. They will eventually land down and they can't cross the map in a, in a few seconds and have built-in weapons that continuously fire forever and, and then have the bypass of shields all the time. So these things, uh, they seem a lot more fair to me right now, but of course we're gonna have to test them first, right? We're, let's see how strong this firestorm ability is. If it one-shots titans, then well, I may have to rethink my my opinion right there. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys are thoroughly entertained by the news section and this video log. I, may, I, I will do them from time to time every time I get the opportunity to get you guys some early info and get you hyped for the next test server I'll do that because as you know you get the gameplay here on the channel uh, just a few hours later or a few days so yeah tell me what you think about the high harpy and maybe you even have an idea for the siren harpy is something that would fly up what is a siren a siren what could it be that there's meaning in the names as well maybe you guys have some ideas let me know Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.